Alrighty, yo hey guys, it's Beast, back with some more Beastly content. So today I have a bit of an interesting video for you today. I have taken 19 refiners and I have put them all inside of my freighter. That is right, today I'm going to be showing you what is basically going to be a autonomous, well not completely autonomous, you are going to still need a worker, aka the player, to be operating this factory. However, I'm going to show you a nanite factory sort of thing. Now, the thing about freighters is there really is no limits to how many number of refiners that you can place so that you can re be refining large, large, large amounts of items. Meaning that you can basically, and where I think the freighters really shine the most at is, is the fact that you can place more than three or four or five reactor or four large refiners here. These are all large refiners, meaning I have 19 large refiners in here right now, which means I can have 19 of these babies going on making me some nanites. So, let me show you what's going on in my inventory, and I'll explain why I got all of this. You can be buying all of your resources for your factory. All of them. So, uh, at least in some form or fashion. So, ammonia, we will be covering in a minute. Same with the ionized cobalt. These two are an ingredient for something entirely different that is going to be necessary for what we are wanting to do. Geodesite is also something that we will be creating here today to be using in the factory. Uh, platinum is going to be needed, gold, and silver. So, first things first. Dirty bronze and luminium. Those are all going to be bought from a specific galaxy. I'll show you the galaxy. You go to the space station of these types of galaxies. So we're going to go ahead and look at space stations and this one right here is a Viking manufacturing galaxy. These ships that will land here, I just stay in the space station and purchase things from these ship vendors all day long. I'll go ahead and show you. Here's my galactic trade terminal and as you can see here, there's all sorts of lovely things in this wonderful, wonderful universe. See, you can buy the silver here, you can buy it all, but you can also buy magno gold. This will give you gold. That's 62 magno gold like that. And you can also be buying the Luminium and the Dirty Bronze. Now, Geodesite is created from the mixture of Dirty Bronze and Luminium. So what I'm going to be suggesting for you to do is, first of all, buy enough of this stuff and just throw it and load it into your refiners. I'm talking fill every single refiner full of a full stack, as much of this as you can. And just keep going through there and get yourself stacks and stacks and stacks of gold and silver going on. This will not take too long as I will shortly show you how much luminium and dirty bronze you can buy from just even one ship vendor. This will not take too long, the biggest part of the time consuming thing and the reason why we're using the freighters for this and not any other sort of base is because of the fact that we can use 19 of these babies. If we use enough of these, we will be able to create a very, very large number of nanites to be outputted and all we had to do is go do some shopping and some crafting and some gathering. On to ammonia and cobalt. So we need ionized cobalt and ammonia in order to be creating what is going to be called, uh, let's see here. So it is Herox. So Herox is actually an ingredient used to create what is called geodesite. When you smelt geodesite down, it gives you 250 platinum per one single piece of geodesite. So you get where we're going with this. Also, one more recipe to note on. Platinum plus silver plus gold in a refiner will create a nanite cluster. So, we have a material we can smelt down for bulk gold and bulk silver. We have a resource like ammonia, which we can purchase ammonia itself from the station I'm going to show you. You can also purchase some of the other counterpart items that may be needed to make it, such as ferrite dust and... Uh, we're gonna go ahead and see. I don't think I have any. It's like paraffinium or something like that We'll see it in a minute when we go to the space station, but I do believe it's called paraffinium uh, And we are going to be needing that as well And as you can see we're gonna put this back. We don't need ferrite dust, but paraffinium and ferrite dust together will be creating ammonia Alrighty, so as I was saying uh, We are going to be creating a whole bunch of this geodesite so that we can smelt it down to platinum but without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get on over to the space station that we need to be going to in order to be purchasing more of this stuff. So, uh, before we head on into that space station, I would like to go ahead and use the ammonia and the ionized cobalt that we have. And we're going to see just how much, real quickly, Herox that we can actually create. 
So we're just going to spam this button here, and I will be back once we're done selecting this. We do have a lot to be building. Alrighty, so it does look like we have 89 of these that we can make. 89 of these combined with some aluminium and some dirty bronze will be making a ton. We are now about to be headed to the space station in order to buy more aluminium and dirty bronze. The good thing about this is the Herox that we do have and the Geode or the Herox that we do have will just sit in our inventory for now so that we'll be hanging on to it and then we're going to go through and we're going to buy 10 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and 61 more Herox. We already have 6,720 Platinum at this current point and a bunch of Geodesite. We just need to go buy some Luminium as well as some Dirty Bronze. So I will see y'all when we get there. Alrighty, so the first thing we did when we arrived at the space station was actually go through and just purchase some more materials. Uh, that includes Luminium, Platinum, of paraffinium, which we're going to be combining paraffinium and ferrite dust in order to be creating some more, uh, I do believe, ammonia. So para paraffinium and ferrite dust combined together can also create ammonia. Paraffinium is a pretty common resource that I was finding among most of the space traders. Most of them weren't containing ammonia, and as for the manufacturing district, I actually was not finding anybody that was actually selling any sort of dirty bronze here. There are uh, other galaxies to go to for dirty bronze. I will be showing that in just a bit. This galaxy can give dirty bronze. As a matter of fact, I did eventually when I came back here to shop later on in the video, find some dirty bronze on somebody. However, I believe it's only captains in some galaxies and other galaxies is pretty much every other one. We also purchased a lot of pugnium rusted metal as well as the little green goop. Uh, we then headed to a mining galaxy. Uh, the, we might have to go back and see where we were there. Uh, that was a little quick. But uh, we went to a mining galaxy and did some more purchasing here. Upon the first guy we met, he had some cobalt, which we bought all the cobalt we could because we were going to turn into ionized cobalt for creating some Herox. Uh, we also bought the dirty bronze upon clearing our inventory enough to actually hold it. We just ended up moving some stuff to the freighter temporarily in the bulkhead. Uh, this guy also had some more ammonia on it as well as 500 residual goo. Uh, we actually didn't do anything with the residual goo or the pugnium in this video. However, that also was ferrites or was nanites that we picked up basically. Uh, and while the goo does take forever to smelt, uh, the actual... Uh, what was it? Pugnium is pretty much an instantaneous smell. So the Pugnium was probably at least another couple hundred nanites that I did pick up out of this. Uh, we then went back to the base, of course, and started breaking all the geodesite that we were crafting uh, down into some platinum so that we had the platinum for this nanite manufacturing adventure. Once again, I think I put a disclaimer earlier in the video. This is not meant to be a guide over the best nanite farm or even close to one I recommend. This is just sort of me seeing how it goes trying to make a nanite factory. So, uh, as you can see here, we just went through and we placed all the geodesite that we had at the time and we turned it all into platinum so that we could use it to make the nanites. We are not done yet, this is still the material gathering process. Uh, the actual smelt time for platinum, gold, and silver is an extremely, extremely short smelt time, even for the full stacks of everything being maxed out on the smelter. It's an extremely small smelting time. The problem is gathering all of these resources. I do believe if I had a good ammonia farm, as well as, what's the other ingredient we need? Ammonia and ionized cobalt. So if I had a good ammonia farm and maybe even an ionized cobalt farm, this could turn into quite the loose to critic uh, manufacturing experience here for nanites. Now, I will say you're going to need credit farms, like I mentioned earlier in the video. You're going to need a way to get you a lot of credits because this stuff is relatively, I'm not going to say expensive due to the fact that some of us just make tons and tons of money on nip nip, but for those of us who don't have large scale nip nip farms, I'm sure, or I guess not me, not us, we don't think. I guess y'all probably need to get some nip nip farms going on, honestly. Who's not selling nip nip these days, right? Anyway, so we also made some more Herox, and then of course we made that into more Geodesite, five more. That was going to turn to Platinum. We also ended up going back to the Manufacturing Galaxy, where we first visited the Galactic Terminal and did some more ship trading. Uh, we purchased more Pugnium, some Dioxite. I always purchase the rusted metal because it turns directly into ferrite and it is extremely cheap. And I, th I do believe the rusted metal actually converts over to more ferrite than what rusted metal is. So it's kind of like a compact storage version of ferrite in my own opinion. That's why I like to pick it up. We also were combining fungal mold and salt. That's another recipe for ammonia. 
Uh, fungal mold, I do believe, might be able to be grown, actually. So the only thing you're going to have to worry about is finding a salt farm. Uh, but this is getting closer to the end of the video. We finally were at the point, I do believe almost, we had a little bit more geodesite. This is the last of the geodesite. We were done making platinum after this. So we put 10 more geodesite in here, and then we were on to count the number of platinum. Now, we came up with almost 7 stacks of platinum. Uh, we did end up getting a lot of silver and gold back in the end of this. Uh, this did end up reaching to the tally of about 3,000 nanites manufactured within, it took me an hour of uh, recording after also already having smelted it all down the dirty bronze and the aluminium off camera, uh, which I've been working on this video idea for a few days now off and on. I've just been keeping a ship on my freighter where I've been putting stuff that I bought and just passively buying aluminium and dirty bronze and smelting it down and gathering up silver and gold. I will say silver and gold is a pretty common thing to be purchasing and if you're going to have to be purchasing all your ammonia, it might almost not even be worth it buying dirty bronze and aluminium to smelt down just because of how long it takes to find enough ammonia to do this. I do need to get an ammonia farm, but I do believe this is about the end of the video. Uh, as I said, we got about 3,000 nanites out of this total, about 400 per one of these. If we were to fill all 19 of my refiners, it would be 19 times 400, so 20 times 400, probably about 20,000 nanites. So like I said, with enough time and enough credits invested into this, you could very well come out with you know, an hour of work and maybe a little bit more. It just depends on how wise you are on your sourcing and if you're using a farm for ammonia and if you're not having to do your cobalt. If you weren't having to create so much cobalt or if maybe you had a recipe like the paraffinium and ferrite's a good recipe. But I do believe that's all for now. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it and keep it beast mode.